Hi, my name is Snehal Patel and I'm the Airy Professional Camera Accessories Rep for the West Coast in America. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the accessories that we have for the Sony F3 camera. These are the same accessories that you could pretty much use for a lot of other camera systems, including DSLR and other small HD camera systems. We're going to outfit the Sony F3 with our PCA products today to show you how it's done and we can take a look at the functionalities for your next shoot. The first part that you'll need is the MVP-1. This mounts directly onto the F3 camera without uh, any kind of adapters. And we're using the lightweight rail system here, 15 millimeter rods that are adjustable. This has the same distance that we use for the Alexa camera. And as you can see here in the MVP-1, not only can you adjust the rods coming in and out, but you can also adjust the height of the rods on the base plate just in case you have to make minute changes for different camera systems. The first thing that you do is, of course, mount this part onto the bottom of your camera. And you go ahead and screw it in. And once that's in really tight, you can go ahead and use these two mounting holes. You have a 3 eighths and a quarter 20 to mount onto any of your tripod plates. And you can see here that we're going to line it up directly on the bottom of the camera. Put the screw in. Once that's in, you can go ahead and mount this onto the tripod. And it's in there nice and tight. And you have your first step done. Now that we have the bridge plate on and the camera mounted on the tripod, we can add the mini follow focus. This is the MFF1 and the great thing about the MFF1 is that it's infinitely adjustable so you can put it in any position you want to. It's got two ways to adjust it here and you have the distance over here as well. You could use any gear that comes with any of our other follow focus and another thing is that if you wanted to reverse the movement all you need to do is take this screw out over here and flip upside down and mount it with this screw instead for still lenses for Nikon or other lenses where the movement is opposite uh, the traditional film style, you can go ahead and flip this over. And you can get an adapter here to mount it to your studio base place if you want to. And once it's slid into place, we're gonna find out exactly where we're gonna place the gear, which will be right about there we'll tighten everything down at the bottom. You can go in and adjust the actual gear, get it in place, and now your follow focus is turning the focus. The great thing about the MMB2, the Mini Map Box 2, is that it's uh, configurable in many different ways. It comes with two different trays, a 4x5.6 and a 4x4 or a 4.5 circular. And the second tray is actually rotatable. So you can rotate it like when you're using a circular polarizer. What I've done for this matte box is I've also added a viewfinder adapter, which allows me to have a quarter 20 or 3 eighths holes so I can mount a viewfinder or an EVF or even a monitor onto my camera and have it next to it. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on. And as you can see here, it mounts on the lightweight rails. If you wanted to, you can take this system off and use this as a clip-on map box. It has an opening of 114, and of course you can get reduction rings to clamp it onto other lenses like 95 millimeter, 110, or 80. But it's a 114, which just happens to be the same diameter as the lens that comes with the Sony F3 cameras that are PL mounts. So let's go ahead and put this on and pop it into position. We tighten down over here. The map box is on the rails, it's all sewed around the lens, and I can tighten it onto the lens so it clamps on. You'll have no light leaks, and you'll have a perfect clean look for your map box. One of the main reasons why you want to use a map box is so you can cut the amount of light that's falling onto your lens so that you don't get a washed out look. I'm able to adjust the shade real simply by unlocking it, getting into position, and then locking it again. 
Another great thing about the Mini Follow Focus is that it has hard stops. For those of you using it with still lenses, you can actually have hard stops so you don't spin past infinity or past macro. And the way that you engage the hard stops is just by pushing in this little button right there. And now this will only go between the two different stops. And for quick handheld use, we can use these hand grips, which are another option for the MMB2 matte box. Hand grips make it really essential for using the matte box without adding on any other new hardware that has to be taken off every time a lens is changed. All our Airy products are in metric. All your tools should also be metric when using any of our screws and bolts. Great thing about having hand grips on the camera is that you can use it for handheld use without much work at all. Just take it off of your tripod and it's good to go. These hand grips are very secure and hold onto the matte box tightly. So that's how you set up the Sony F3 with the professional camera accessories from Airy. If you have any questions or if you want to know exactly what parts we use to put this system together, you can find out from our website. Go to Airy.com, click on the link that says camera on the top left of the page. On the left side, you will see a menu click on professional camera accessories and under DV support you will find all the information that you need for the Sony F3. You will find all the part numbers listed along with contact information and how to get these parts ordered. Feel free to contact any of our dealers for more information or contact us directly. Thank you very much for your time and I hope this has been really helpful for you.